also I got a couple different things that I'm going to work on because all different tools have different outcomes. Um, so I'm looking for increased range of motion and better tissue quality. Uh, both of these are mobility wad tools and this is the boom stick from Kabuki Strength Lab and as you can tell uh, I think it's 22 pounds or something like that. Anyway, light knurling so it's not going to rip your skin. So what I like to do is I like to start on this one and I'm working my tricep. Like you can see I'm trying to, to wear, um, to loosen up some of that stuff, especially down down through here in the in that tricep tendon and that lateral head. Um, that's actually bruising from doing some work the other week. But I'm going to work on kind of tightening up the tissue. You can see how I can roll that back and forth and see how it changes it. I'm not changing my arm, but I'm actually changing the tightness of the skin and underlying fascia. So right there, that's really, really good. Um, and I'm working on just kind of relaxing as much as I can, work through the range of motion I'm trying to work on. Um, so this is some lateral stuff. So I've got that tight, now I'm going to take it the other way and do similar. Mm. So anyway, now I want to get into the position of where I'm trying to change. So if I'm doing an overhead kettlebell, which is, see if you can see it this way, I'm going to get into basically this alignment with uh, I'm going to get biceps right by, by my ears. Let's see if you can see that. So I'm going to put the boom stick underneath and I'm going to work on that tricep extension. Now I'm in the long head of the tricep and I'm going to keep that elevated, flexed over my head, close to my temple. And I'm actually keeping that tricep a little tighter by flexing at the elbow. So right there, that long head of the tricep super, super tight. And uh, I'm slowly rolling backwards, I'm finding some tension. Flexing the elbow again. Now I can try different spots um, right there. But anyway, so there's one for the boom stick. Now I'm going to work a little different area where I'm going to roll around a little bit more on this. And you can almost see right away how this supernova, it's an older one, but you can see kind of what it does is I can rotate different ways and it's kind of tacking and grabbing skin and underlying tissue. So I'm going to try to push it out here. Get that medial head of the tricep loose. You can see if I go too fast, it's going to roll right over right there and drop. I'm going to miss that long head that I'm trying to work. It's very, very tight. Sorry about that light back there. I can't really do too much, but I'm feeling a lot of change happening from this. Uh, so, oh yeah, big time right there. So I'm still trying to be in that. I can go up in here, up closer to the armpit you can see where I've been working there ball the ball is nice for getting into this area and then I can get into rear delt and the Terry's major and stuff like that but let's see it's getting a little weird anyway so now there's another one so this guy right here what I like to do here is catch this edge of the tricep, oh, you can see it basically through here, and I put that in the middle of the Gemini, the Supernova, uh, I'm sorry, the Mobility Wad Gemini, and then I can go back and forth, and you can see this little groove. It's not very sharp, but it definitely works. It definitely traps that tissue in there, and when I go side, you can see it, I think. Yeah, there kind of clunks over it. But I can work on loosening that, and especially down 
towards the edge. Oh, there you go. So I need to loosen. I need to work on that. So once I catch it, then I then I relax. Let the bicep do the work on lowering down. Just hang there for a little bit, and I can move a little bit. See if that's affected. Once again, I'm trying to get into that overhead range of motion and loosen up a little bit more. Uh, so there it goes. So loosening up this tricep has been loosening up my bicep a little bit. Just the, the tension. Um, So anyway, just keep uh, working on this. Jen Crandall, can I use you for a, a second? Um, then I'm gonna have my friend Jen here do the best part of using the boomstick because she's gonna kind of mash me a little bit. Oh, you care? Yes. Okay, so she's super happy about this. <laughs> and, I won't. Uh, I, I promise know I won't hurt you. I know it's gonna hurt. Where am I putting? We're gonna try to work some of that. See you, bud. Where at? Here? Uh, just. Or on, on the your outside tricep. tricep, yeah, mostly. On the outside. Try flat first. Oh, okay. Yeah, try that. Just put all the weight on it. You can roll it down a little bit. Really. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. It's, you can push more a little bit. Well, I wasn't doing anything. I thought I'd just push it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead and push a little bit. Yeah, I feel it. Do you roll it or just press? Oh, it's great. You just so she's just applying some pressure and I'm trying to kind of manipulate against it. And I can feel that edge of that long head of the tricep. Press a little bit harder, please. There we go. So now she's putting some pressure that I probably wouldn't be able to get to myself. And I can really feel, oh, there we go. You see it? Okay, so on that you can actually, ah. Um, okay. Yep, so she's going down a little bit now. Woo! <laughs> um, I can already already feel a slight uh, difference and big. Just feel so much looser, loose in the elbow joint for all that stuff. Hi, Sadie. <laughs> anyway, so there's a couple different things that the goal was to have better range of motion in the elbow, and just to show you there's so many different tools out there. Um, use, <laughs> hey. Use all of them. I mean, if you, any one that you have, because they're all going to work slightly different.